What's going on, guys? This is Ryan with the RK Outpost, and it looks like Santa Inc. is facing far more backlash than anyone at HBO Max could have thought was possible. The woke animated comedy from Seth Rogen and Sarah Silverman essentially is telling everyone that Santa Claus is white and male and that that is a terrible thing. So it shouldn't really have been a surprise when they put this out here, this very unfunny garbage, and it got destroyed. The dislikes were out of this world. YouTube tried to help them out, of course, by removing the dislike button, but some people came up with a pretty quick Chrome extension, which I'll tell you about in a little bit. You can see the ratio right here. 22,000 upvotes to 67,000 down votes. That is a hard, hard ratio for them. And what did they do just about 12 hours ago or so? They completely bent the knee and turned off the comment section. Now, before, the comment section was basically full of dislike this if you don't like this video, right? Because they removed the public dislike count. People posting updates for the few people that could see the dislike count. And people in general just roasting this for being not funny, roasting Seth Rogen, roasting Sarah Silverman. That was the vast majority of the comment section. And they just couldn't handle it. And the entire situation is so ironic because this, things like this are the exact reason that YouTube decided to change the dislike button, that they decided to change the way that they show it and not publicly display it so that they could put out things like this, trash like this, and they wouldn't get as much backlash. So they could protect things like CNN, MSNBC, the mainstream news sources who are constantly getting ratioed. YouTube accounts like the White House who are lucky if they get a 10% like ratio. And of course, big companies, whether it be Disney, a Lucasfilm, Star Wars, YouTube's channel, things like that. And of course, Santa Inc. And we've seen some of the articles that have been talked about from this. Uh, Sarah Silverman voices Elf seeking to disrupt the all-white Christmas patriarchy in first trailer for HBO Max's Santa Inc. And that's exactly what it was. It is Sarah Silverman, an elf who wants to be the next Santa Claus. We've played the video a couple times. I did a full reaction. You can look on the channel. But Sarah Silverman, an elf who wants to be Santa Claus, uh, talking about how bad it is and how terrible it is that white people are in charge, that white men are in charge. That's what this entire thing is about. And it probably didn't help the backlash either that this was immediately in the aftermath of Seth Rogen embarrassing himself, trying to convince everyone that Los Angeles, it's really not that bad of a place. I've only got my car broken into 15 times. Just deal with it, peasant. It's not that big of a deal. LA is a beautiful city. That didn't go over well for him. And I don't think that helped this trailer. And they inevitably went and took the next step and removed your ability to comment on it. Now, they don't want anyone talking about it. So if you go to this trailer, you would have no idea what the feedback is if you hadn't installed this Chrome extension. If you do want this Chrome extension, if you want to be able to see what's going on, just search return YouTube dislike. You'll find it. You can put it in Chrome and you will be able to see this as well. If you don't want to do that, I can show you another way. You can go to HBO Max on Social Blade. You can go over to user videos. And when we go to user videos, they still have the rating percentage. And when you look right here at Santa Inc., it's at 3.3%. Pathetic, pathetic, pathetic. But that is what these people have done, right? They, they have removed your ability to comment on it. They have made it so a lot of people can't even see who dislikes it. So if I come to this, I'm going to have no idea what the feedback will be for this garbage, garbage movie. And I am sure... I am positive that we're about to see things that say, oh, these evil trolls said bad things in the comments section. That's why they were removed. And really, we need to remove all YouTube comment sections because of things like this. They're going to try to pick and choose one or two things in the comment section that were probably horrific or whatever. And they're going to try to say, that's a reason this shouldn't happen. These are the type of fans. These are the type of people that we can't have watching and commenting on our things. You know, inevitably, that will be the case. They're going to try to blame racism. They're going to try to blame sex that's always how this is when the reality is the vast majority of people just think that this is hot garbage. They want to define you as a racist or a sexist if you think that maybe a movie shouldn't just literally shit on white men just for the sin of being white men. But that's the state of the Santa Inc. trailer. Uh, after removing dislikes without the Chrome extension, then they went ahead and turned off the comments as well. They don't want you speaking about it. 
because they don't want anyone's feedback. They just want to shove it down your throats. Let me know what you think about all this in the comments below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching, everyone. And a huge shout out to my patrons. I appreciate you guys so much. Want to follow me on Twitter or Instagram? Check out the description below. You'll find links to my P.O. Box and my Patreon as well. And I'll talk to you guys later.